Yep, that's how it feels when you screw up, when you mess up your trading and when you don't follow your trading plan. I screwed up and today I want to talk with you about following your trading plan, about discipline, what happened to me, to me and why you should be so strict with your trading plan. So stay tuned because I'm coming right up. Hi guys and welcome back to the video and thank you very much for checking this video out and showing interest in this kind of a topic. It really is one of the most important topics when it comes to trading, my trading, your trading, any type of trading, whether you're trading uh, Forex stocks or any other type of the assets. Basically, so why did I, why did I actually use this money? Because I didn't blow a lot of money in this mistake that I made today in uh, last two, in, in two days ago in my trading. But it kind of feels like it. It feels like I blew a lot of money. It's even worse. It really, really hurts because I would rather have myself taking a trade that is per my trading plan and uh, going in a bigger drawdown than having that feeling of making a crucial mistake in my trading. So I'll get to the what, what was that crucial mistake in a second, but I want to tell you a short story. Why, why does it hurt? Because for the past two months, uh, when I started trading live in uh, January, in February this year, I, w I didn't make any mistakes, any trading mistakes. So yeah, I trade management a little bit, but nothing major. And by major trading mistakes, I mean, I didn't add to my losing positions. I uh, didn't trail my stop loss in when, when the price action was going against me. I didn't trail my stop loss so that I wouldn't get stopped out. Uh, I didn't take trades that I shouldn't take. And finally, in my fifth month of my live trading, I, I didn't take a trade that I should have taken. And that kind of reflected uh, of that trade being a winner. And I took a different trade that I, I should have taken that, that one too. And that's a good trade that I took. But that trade went into and hit both of my stop losses for both of my positions, uh, losing me essentially 70 pips. And the trade that I did not take was a winning trade for both of my targets, which would net me around 80 something pips. And if I were to take both of those trades, I would be in a net positive of 15 pips. That's why it hurts so bad. And it was per my trading plan. And yeah, on my daily Forex market analysis videos, I actually saw a trade and I said, I'll not be taking because it's out of my uh, trading time. So I, I wanna take a minute here and I wanna show you uh, that quick snippet of a video of a daily market market analysis so check it out we didn't get anything else Ponyan is slowly falling down i didn't see anything here besides maybe this cipher pattern here let's check it out was this a cipher pattern give me a second so this would be x to a a to b b to c and cd completion but it did not complete yet and it's uh, for the cipher pattern it's out of my trading time so i will not be taking this i can trade ciphers until noon that means that the last candle is from noon gmt to 1 pm gmt with the maximum risk being 100 pips so this is a cipher pattern that i won't be taking however there is another bigger one i think here x to a a to b come on b to c and c the completion right there that might might happen tomorrow we will definitely see what's gonna happen tomorrow with this pair okay as you can see you know i said that it's out of my trading time so i will not be taking that trade but next morning that trade came into my trading time and i should have taken so and then market rallied against me a little bit and then up again and i was thinking to myself okay no man don't take that trade uh, it's gonna go up and it's gonna be a losing trade even though market kind of gave me another chance of entering that trade i avoided it so i kind of screwed up twice which kind of sucks big time and eventually trade trade rolled rolled over and hit the bottom of my targets and i took a loss in a pound dollar so i want to go to the charts show you that both of those trades exactly and then i'll come back and give you a little few tips that i prepared for you how to avoid making mistakes such as i made uh two days ago so stay tuned all right so here we are the pounian trade that you saw on a video just before this is this cipher pattern so let me show you what actually happened here so let me just zoom in a little bit and let me explain how did market look so 
trade was coming to hit my pending orders which were here okay and the price action immediately rolled over but look this candle is our closed candle so actually what was happening is price action rolled over and then the buyers came up and pushed the price up and i was looking at it right now and imagine being live and taking a look at this price action and i said to myself okay man the buyers are gonna drag the price up uh and it's gonna take your take you out okay and i was watching this bigger cipher pattern here on the pound yen if you if you can see it here let me remove this so it, there was a bigger cipher that i was waiting and this is one of the reasons why i didn't want to take it because i was expecting and i don't know why per my rules i should have taken both of these ciphers if they complete so i was waiting for this and i was expecting this stop loss to be triggered but then the sellers came in and pushed the price down and then again look at this this is so painful maybe the, my three times maybe i screwed up three times i don't remember so buyers brought the price up again so i had a th third chance to get entry but i didn't and then what happened is actually you know price st stood here for a few hours and then it rolled over and it hit my targets too so for a total of look 30 32 pips here and uh 52 so 85 pips traded that i did not take and i should have taken uh, per my rules that hurts but i also did take this trade which was a bad pattern on a pound dollar which is good you know everything is per my rules i saw it i took it and a price action kind of played around here uh showing some buyers pressure some kind of a news come in on a dollar and i was expecting actually win i was hoping to win for 50 pips for targets one and around 80 pips for targets two but that didn't happen what uh, what happened is sellers came in pushed the price took me for a stop loss and then buyers showed up and pushed the price up now what i see is sellers are showing up again and i don't know what's going to happen but i want to go back to the video and give you a few tips what to do and how to avoid these emo emotional pitfalls and uh, trading uh, mistakes okay so let's get back to the video so what are these few tips that we can do when it comes to our trading to improve upon ourselves and our trading so that we don't make this kind of a newbish mistakes well first of all is the things that i didn't do and i will definitely start doing right now uh, is put a sticker note on a poster or something and place it on your pc on your screen just stick it right there and that says trade your plan or something like take every trade that meets your plan i kept saying this but i never reminded myself of doing exactly that so that's one of the things that i think that that if, if i if i saw it on a screen like watching at me right there i would probably take that trade uh and i didn't and that's why it hurts it hurts really really bad knowing that i kind of disappointed myself that that kind of that kind of sucks big time so definitely i'm gonna keep uh, posting i'll post that sticker on my pc uh, on my screen to remind myself also like i have a trading session from uh, 5 in the morning until 5 p.m my uh, gmt time zone what's important is uh, i'll set, uh, set it as a reminder is go to my trading plan and read it again read the entire mental preparation of a trading plan so that i know what is my plan what is my goal how i'll work towards my goal and what do i need to do as a trader day in day out so that's the kind of the second or basically the first thing kind of comes together with the first thing with the posted uh, sticker notes the second thing is if the trading mistakes happen and i i believe it will happen if not good for you but if they do happen don't be too rough on yourself i feel like shit right now but when, when, when i take a step back and look at grander scheme of things like what is 80 pips or what is a half of a percent loss in uh in a decade not that big of a deal right because trading is here markets are here to stay it's not gonna go nowhere we gotta learn from the mistakes that we make and improve upon them okay so uh improving upon is most crucial thing you can do it's if, if you do not learn from the mistakes then you're kind of standing still not moving forward 
and letting those mistakes kill you. So I believe in a process over outcome. So one-on-one uh, -on -one mentors, Akil Stokes, kudos to you, man says that his trading goal for the year is not a profit target like a percentage wise no it's just to make one less mistake than he made the last year or make no mistakes at all and he makes mistakes like trade management minor mistakes i believe he's not making a crucial mistake like i did today but that's the whole point he improved upon he he was sabotaging his trading when he was starting out but right now he's a professional trader lives off of it so he doesn't need to uh see so he makes just small mistakes so one of the things that i wanted to push towards you to to so that you can understand what i mean by that the third thing would be be robotic as much as possible so if there was an, some kind of a expert advisor or a robot or some kind of a bot trading this, if it met its rules, it, it would take it and it, it would need 80 pips. That's why emotions play with us because I, I didn't feel like it, you know, I, I thought, I thought, even though I spent so many hours back testing, I thought it's gonna blew my up, blew my account up, it blew my trade up and it didn't. I don't know, the bot doesn't have doesn't have feelings so the it would take the trade so you need to be as robotic as possible try to write that down be as robotic as possible see it and just be mechanical just try you know if then if then that's the thought process i don't know why i screwed up i emotions came to me played with me but yeah if i would have those stickers i would probably not screw up and the fourth thing is, one of the biggest things is, when it comes, the next situation when it comes, we as people, we tend to forget how we felt. So it's important to write down how you felt when you did make a mistake, if you made one, so that you have a quick reminder, how will, how will you feel if you do it again? Because trust me, as I said in the beginning of this video, it hurts and I feel like shit, more than if I would have hit a stop loss on that trade because I disappointed myself. Like, you know, when somebody disappoints you and it kind of hurts, but when you disappoint yourself, that really, really sucks. So write it down when it happens and if it happens, write it down and have it close to you so that you, when you're planning, <laughs> when your emotion starts playing with you again, so that you can read it and kind of, <laughs> Kind of talk to yourself not to do it again. And basically those, th that's everything that I wanted to share with you. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to, uh, to click that like button, smash the bell button, also subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of a content. I do post a daily forex market analysis as well. And as a bonus in the description, I will include a link to a free ebook that I spent last two months writing of everything that I wish I knew when I was first starting out trading. So it's free to download, don't worry about it. There is nothing to charge. So just click a link and follow these instructions. With that being said, I wanna thank you one more time for staying until the end of this video and hope to, to see you soon in one of the other videos. Thank you and bye-bye.